الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله some excellent and beautiful wisdom from Ibn al Jozi رحمة الله عليه رحمة واسعة which shows us the importance of putting our trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and not to fear our rizq and to put all of our energy into affairs of the dunya the entrapments and the enticements of the dunya and being deceived by this worldly life Ibn al, uh, Ibn al Jozi he wrote a letter or gave advice to a friend of his and he said, do not carry the worries of this life because this is for Allah. And do not carry the worries of sustenance because it is from Allah. And do not carry the anxiety for the future because it is in the hands of Allah. Carry one thing. How to please Allah because if you please him he pleases you and fulfills you and enriches you if we look up at the hikam the wisdom that is in in that statement in that advice we'll find immense treasures on how to deal with our, our lives and the obstacles in our life. Because we're often worry, and I'm including myself first and foremost, about our future. How are we going to make ends meet in the future? How are we going to be able to take care of our responsibilities in the future? Where will I study and go and do such and such activities in the future? Will I be able to buy a house in the future? Will I be able to do this and do that in the future? And that doesn't negate having concern about your future. But what it comes back to is tawakkul ala Allah Azza wa Jal. And we know from our many studies on this topic of tawakkul that the scholars refer to tawakkul as i'timad ala Allah wa fi'la asbab. That tawakkul ahabatifillah is that one they that a person puts their his or her trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in totality in totality totality and they make efforts to achieve and attain what they're trying to attain. So for example, the person who's concerned about his or her future. Perhaps they're studying in a university and they want, and they're thinking about their future. Should I do talib al-ilm? Should I get a job immediately? Or I have a family and I need this and I need that. Those are legitimate concerns. However, if you make an, a sincere and honest effort to achieve what you're trying to achieve, for example, the one who wants to do Talib al ilm that they are making legitimate. They're actually trying to save their money. They're actually trying to raise funds. They're actually striving to put themselves and doing the research to put themselves in a position to where they can go study. Or the person who wants to get a job as an engineer, but they're fearful of whether they'll be employable or not because of the fierce competition. And they are not the best of engineering students. What should they do? Well, the answer to that ahabatifillah is going back to that qa'ida azim and that ta'rif al-mateen, which is that tawakkul is itimad ala Allah wa fi'la asbab, that it is putting your trust totally in Allah, and that is the affair of the heart. Wa fi'la asbab, and making the effort. So the one who wants to be that engineer that they finish their university 
and they do the best they can to get the best grades. And they apply from all the various means that they can apply. That they use their social media to achieve, uh, 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 to, to put them in a better position to attain that goal. And they put their total heart and their trust in Eliza Wajel. That their heart, that they believe they are there with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's tawakal ala Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that's what we need. We need to know that, hey, if you've made all the steps, leave the worries with Allah. Put your trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Make dua. Make your salawat al-khams, your five daily prayers, and extra prayer. Bowing, praying, making istighfar, making every effort you can, but putting your trust. Don't put your trust in the asbab. Don't put your trust in those means, but put your trust in Allah, the one who created you, the one who sustained you, the one who gave you those opportunities, the one who knows the ends, the one who can make the desired means come about, and the one who knows what's best for you. Subhanahu wa ta'ala, put your trust in him, and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil, and bless us to be from the mutawakkilin, those People who put their trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased with. May Allah bless us to be from them. May Allah forgive us from our weak, weak, weak selves and sinful, wicked selves. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.